Hello guys and welcome to another video from Between the Ropes TV. Guys, I just want to talk to you about the news that we just got about Leo Santa Cruz and Lee Wood. They've reached an agreement for the WBA featherweight world title. Um, guys, we all know Leo Santa Cruz had the had the um had the the, the original WBA belt. Um that system that the WBA have, man, won the nightmare. And then Lee Wood has the regular title. And there's a few of us, there's a few people that I, I've got a lot of time for um that don't class the WBA uh, regular belt as a valid world title. Uh some people aim this at the likes of Tank, uh, and some people have aimed this at the likes of Lee Wood. Um, our good friend of the show, Imran Mia, he doesn't recognise the WBA regular as a, as a valid world title. But I think in this instance, Lee Wood did beat the number one to get his hands on the WBA regular title. This will, this will, for me, give him that vindication should he beat Leo Santa Cruz to get the WBA world title in full. Um, effectively, if Leo Santa Cruz was an active featherweight, for me, he'd be number one. But he hasn't been. We know he had that 10-round win in, in February. Um, but prior to that, he hasn't fought since 2020 when he got knocked out by Javante Davis. Um, this was going to go to purse bids on Friday, but it was suspended. Um, there's been an agreement between the Lee Woods team and Leo Santa Cruz's team on a financial split of the purse. The rules entitle Leo Santa Cruz up to seventy five percent of that purse. Um, obviously, he would be taking the remainder twenty five percent. But there's been an agreement. Matchroom were pushing for 50-50, simply because they were seeing Lee Woods a bigger draw. He's been active, um, but Leo Santa Cruz was never going to sell for fifty fifty. Um, I would argue Leo Santa Cruz is the bigger name by far, the bigger name. Yes, he hasn't been active. But he's still by far the bigger name in this fight. So I'm not too sure whether this fight is going to take over in place in the UK or the United States. Um, I'm not up to that yet. But for me, I see the fight going as a Leewood win. I see the fight going as a Leewood win. Had this been about two, three years ago, the class of Leo Santa Cruz would have shone through. I just think that. Leo Santa Cruz's style relies on volume punching effectively. And we're seeing through Lee Wood's resume in his career, he's at his most effective. He's at his most devastated against a volume puncher. He times them and he can stop them. I'm not too sure whether Leo Santa Cruz is going to have the power to keep or the strength to keep Lee Wood at bay. Also, um, my other argument is. When he does come forward, he cocks that right, he cocks that hand a little bit low. If Lee Wood times that, Lee Wood could do some damage. Um, I just think that Leo Santa Cruz just may have that inactivity will catch up to him. Um, whether he's as quick as what he was, whether he throws as many punches as what he was, time will tell. But I think if there's any decline in Leo Santa Cruz, Lee Wood will win that fight. Uh, it's a great fight for Lee, real great fight. It's a, his resume is slowly, slowly, slowly starting to, to look good, starting to look impressive, and this would be a great win for him um, if it, if they can pull the fight off. Uh, so hopefully that gets, fight gets announced later the, uh, in the next fortnight or so. Um, and we've got another big fight to look forward to, guys. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, don't forget to, to like the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.